Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am, ah, uh, today is just one of those days just like blowing your mind. It's a Friday. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. You guys can see I'm actually, uh, took a little detour here. It's nice and quiet back in here. There's a new development going on. But anyways, back to the point. Uh, <laughs> today's an amazing day, guys. Because of you, I've hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Think about that for a minute. 10 thousand people that's more than like a lot of the auditoriums that I've ever been in uh, you know just through high school or anything like 10,000 people that's 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 like one tenth of a Dre concert I just want to say thank you guys so so much for getting down there and hitting that subscribe button it really truly means a lot to me that I've made 10,000 new friends at least 10,000 people that want to watch me and I really uh, I don't really understand it, but thank you guys so much. Let's keep this climbing. Let's go all the way to 100,000 subscribers so I can get my silver play button. But anyways, today guys, we're just gonna get out of the Jeep, take a look at it and uh, see how far we've come with 10,000 subscribers and talk about something that I get asked a lot and something that's just personally, in my opinion, nobody really has to listen to it, but I'm just throwing it out there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how nice and serene it is. It's so quiet back here. Like I said, they're still developing some houses back here. There's only like four in this entire neighborhood and uh, you can see it stretches all the way back there. So these are all unplotted pieces of land. But forget about that guys. We are gonna take a look at the Jeep right now as it sits. After 10,000 subscribers, we've had the Jeep for, uh, it's getting close on two years. I'm gonna say one and a half, one and three quarters years, I don't know. I got it in July, so we're coming up on the two year anniversary. And holy crap, just stepping back now and looking at it, this is uh, this is definitely bigger than I could have imagined. Golly, look at that thing. <laughs> just sitting in my driveway or like behind my house, I keep looking at it, I'm like, is it big enough? And I am talking about the Jeep, not what's below my belt. Again, I just wanna thank you guys again for 10,000 subscribers. And I wanna thank all of our sponsors that have helped along the way build this Jeep. And actually, I'm gonna go over some of the main you know, sponsors we've had this entire time. Obviously there's gonna be plenty more parts on the Jeep than I'm showing today. I just wanna run through them real fast because I do get a lot of questions about what I have on my Jeep and how I like it so far. Starting off, obviously you guys can tell my Jeep is absolutely, you know, super, super tall. We have a Beltec four inch suspension and this thing guys, so far, I've had it for a couple weeks so far, has been absolutely amazing. I had no complaints at all when it comes to this suspension and we have the street performance shocks as well. Another one of our big sponsors obviously is Road Armor. So we have the front and rear bumper along with the fenders. I get asked, this is the number one part that I get asked for on my Jeep. People ask me all the time. I literally just had somebody DM me like 10 minutes ago asking me for a link to where I got these fenders. And because of those fenders, that's actually how I got sponsored by Road Armor. They noticed that I was actually one of the first ones, actually I believe I was the first one to color match the fenders to the Jeep. And because they were green, it obviously, you know, was a little more different than your black and white. And they took notice and actually reached out to me. We also have their front and rear inner fender liners now. Again, these inner fender liners would have been much easier to install after I did my lift, but you know, we didn't, you know, uh, we didn't think that one through all the way. And of course we have the rear tire carrier, which we did finally get parts to fix it for. So we do, um, you know, we have to get my backup camera back on here too, but we are going to throw this back on. I think, I believe I'm going to throw this back on this week. So we should be set and ready to go there. And we are going to way throw back to Jeep Beach, my first Jeep Beach ever last year. RBP was my first sponsor. I have 20 inch Cobra 50R beadlock wheels. Uh, those are custom painted. You guys can see with the red decal. I wanted to match most of the Rubicon logos and stuff like that. That was gonna be my accent color and maybe switching that up here soon. But RBP was uh, you know, one of my first sponsors. They even sent me those uh, running boards, but I obviously took them off and replaced them with the rock sliders. Hopefully we'll be changing that again very soon as well. Of course, you guys saw in the last video, we have a new clutch from South Bend Clutch we were gonna throw in in the next one or two videos. One of the upcoming videos, we're also gonna be uh, replacing that clutch. Now you can't tell right now because the Jeep is super dirty, but look at that sun hitting that mojito green. Gosh darn. This is the reason I bought this color. It's so unique in the sunlight. Uh, but you can tell, you know, just how 
you know, neglected this thing is and how dirty it is. We actually just picked up a new sponsor, Jack's Wax, so stay tuned for that video as well. We're gonna be going over most of their like starter kit and their wash and wax I've been using for absolutely ever. And I could not be more satisfied with you know some of the products that they use. I use Hawaiian Shine before like I take this thing to like any car show and you would think that this was just freshly painted. That Hawaiian Shine works absolute wonders. It may be a small detail, but we also have the Alien Sunshade in the back as well as Agency 6 hard top lock. These hard top locks are really, really cool. They're anodized and you can get them in like a whole bunch of different colors. So I'll, again, leave a link in the description below where you guys can find those. And I almost forgot, uh, obviously we have the Road Armor 50 inch light bar mount. I forgot it's there because again, we painted to match these and uh, we don't have a light bar up there just yet. Uh, and we have to get uh, some new cubes as well. So there's still plenty of stuff to do. Uh, on this Jeep as well as you know get a winch that goes back down in this bumper and some new fog lights as well which those won't be too bad to hook up because the fog light wiring harness is right you know right behind this bumper so that would be relatively easy. I just want to thank you guys again for 10,000 subscribers. Thank you to all of my sponsors for helping me out with this build. And there, again, there's still plenty of more to come. We still have some parts on the way and then other installs that we have to do. So thank you guys again for sticking around. So now that we have that all out of the way, I get asked this all the time, especially now that I have my four inch lift, people are asking me, when am I going to go to 40s? These are 38s, if you guys do not know this, these are 38, 1350s by 20s. Yes, these are 20 inch wheels. I get a lot of hate for that beforehand, but after I put them on the 38s, a lot of people are like, oh, that makes sense, they're, they're proportional. Plus, this thing is a daily driver. It's not gonna get beaten on every single day on the trails. I do get a lot of comments on Instagram and YouTube videos and people asking when I'm gonna go to 40s and it's just my personal opinion 38s look absolutely fine on my Jeep I don't need 40s and I'm not trying to compensate for anything that this Jeep is not this is a daily driver guys I don't need anything more than what I have and if I'm being completely honest I don't want to do 40s because then I will have to swap my axles and that is a cost that I don't want to spend right now now contrary to what you might believe from all the uh, overlanders and off-roaders and people that really like try and like lift their jeeps up and make them just absolute monsters 40s is not something that everybody needs let's be honest guys i looked up the stats and jeeps sold a quarter of a million jeeps in 2018 and 2019 so let's just round up and say half a million jeeps in the last two years if all half a million jeeps needed 40s they probably would have provided them from the factory. At the very least, they would have given you stronger axles to hold up to that weight uh, of having 40 inch tires. So again, it's not something that everybody needs. And also Jeep is catering to the mass market. Obviously, you're gonna get the soccer mom, the mall crawler, the grocery getter. That's like, <laughs> a huge portion of Jeep's business. Why do you think that now they sell more four doors than they do two doors? I'm not trying to you know, harp on anybody that does have 40s. If you do have 40s and you're using them, good for you. If you're daily driving on 40s, in my opinion, that's a little bit of overkill, but hey, that's just me. Personally, I think there is a like proportion balance with the Jeeps as well. Obviously with my four inch and 38s, I think, in my personal opinion, this is one of the better looks. These tires aren't completely stuffed like they were my two and a half inch, but they're also not super small, making it look like my Jeep, you know, skipped leg day. And I'm sure a lot of people can go on and on in the comments below, you know, talking about the benefits of having 40s, you know, having higher ground clearance, having more sidewall, you know, to grip rocks, all that kind of stuff. And again, I'm not harping on anybody that has 40 inch tires, but I do think that, uh, you know, when it comes to social media and stuff like this, there are so many people that are pressured to get 40s uh, than to, you know, just do what they want. But with social media now, everybody is talking about going to 40s, especially on these JLs. They lift very, very well, and you can fit big tires on these things, even stock. Uh, I could fit 35s, I could fit 37s on here stock with, you know, there's gonna be some rubbing, but Fit 37s on a stock Rubicon is actually like pretty incredible. But on social media when everybody is almost, you know, shame gaming everybody else into getting 40s with almost half a million Jeeps out there, I don't believe that every single one needs to be on 40s. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This uh, realtor lady just came up to me and uh, 
she was trying to sell me a house. Well, not trying to sell me, sell me a house, but she was asking if I was looking in the area. I just said I came back in this neighborhood because there's plenty of space to film. So I lost my track of mind, but basically I'm just gonna sum it all up because I'm not sure how much footage I even have. I'm sure I'm way over 10 minutes. Uh, but anyways, I don't believe everybody needs 40 inch tires, guys, especially because a lot of these cars, especially me, and I am one of those people that gets shamed the most on you know, Instagram or YouTube, and it's having a Rubicon, but not using it for Rubicon purposes. But again, it's it's personal preference, guys. You know, I do plan on taking this out on the trails. I do have footage from some of Ben's property as well. I just never uploaded it. You know, we just driving around having a good time and I stopped filming. I don't even have a lot of footage because I stopped filming. I just wanted to enjoy the experience of taking the Jeep, you know, off-road, you know, before I had to clean it, which was really annoying because all the mud and whatever got up underneath. I'm just here to tell you guys, you don't have to be the 1% that you see on Instagram with 40 inch tires, axle swaps, all this other stuff that you don't need unless you actually have you know, the money, the time, the mindset to just beat this thing off road, which is completely cool. Again, I have nothing against people that do that. I wish I could do that to this thing, but right now it is just my daily driver. This is what I own and this is my only car that I have besides Halley's Jeep Grand Cherokee. And let's be honest, it's named the Rubicon the, you know, the off-road trim package is named the Rubicon because it can handle the Rubicon trail from the factory, absolutely stock. I mean, the only thing you might need is like a winch, a buddy, and a cooler full of beer, but this thing can handle the Rubicon trail. But it is just part of the Jeep, you know, community to just upgrade your Jeep and, you know, do bigger and better things to your Wrangler. But that absolutely does not mean that 40s are the right fit for your build and obviously uh, uh, 38s, 38s are the biggest tires that I've ever owned and I honestly don't think I would own anything bigger. Enough with the rambling, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for 10,000 subscribers. Let's keep that rolling. Let's get my silver play button guys, 100,000 subscribers and uh, Wow, we do have a lot more to come to the Jeep. You guys know this clutch installation from South Bend. We do have some more road armor parts coming. We have the Jax Wax video as well. And uh, phew, there's just, there's a lot going on. We also have to throw the road armor tailgate back on, the, you know, the, the, the swing arm. Uh, so we also have that as well. And I'm sorry for the rant, but it is something that has been bothering me for a while. Uh, you know, everybody kind of hassling everybody else to go to 40s and axle swaps and all this stuff when uh, I can tell that a lot of people just don't need it, uh, especially because like for me, I'm a daily driver. Now before I head out guys, I did want to say the, I get questions about this a lot. These are Toyo MT 38 1350s are 20s because they're 20 inch wheels um, and I actually got these on eBay however I did recently discover that you can get these cheaper and free shipping I mean depending on who you buy from on um, on eBay but I found these exact tires for cheaper on Amazon and you can get free shipping from them for tires which is absolutely insane I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check those out uh, you can get Toyos BFG Goodrich I you guys can get anything I really for some reason did not realize that you can get like super heavy stuff like tires from Amazon I always thought it was like smaller things and you know kind of like made in China type of deal but you can get you can get Toyos from Amazon Again, leave a link in the description below. You guys can check them out. Uh, obviously, look for the best price for yourself. Uh, a lot of people say tire discounters, you can get better prices, eBay, Amazon. But right now, because of like this whole like stay at home thing, you can literally get these shipped to your house for free. A lot of the other places you do need uh, like a business address or like some kind of like shop or something uh, to ship them to. Uh, I'm not sure why they do it that way. I know ATD obviously does it that way as well, uh, but <laughs> ship to your house. Who'd have thunk? All right guys, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm just gonna go out, drive around and enjoy the rest of this beautiful, beautiful day in the Wrangler. I should honestly take these T-tops off uh, before I go.
we'll think about that. But anyways, thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I literally cannot believe it. So let's keep that rolling. If you are not one of those 10,040 people that have subscribed to this channel, get down there, hit subscribe, leave this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Leave some comments below on what you guys think about tire sizes. Uh, check out the Amazon link below as well because uh, I'm seriously, I don't have any reason why I should have thought of Amazon for tires. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next one.